today's video, I wanted to go over some of my favorites. And when I say favorites, I mean something that I use all the time. Um, well, really, not just in the summer, but I use all the time. I absolutely love them. I reorder them. I rebuy them. And some things I haven't rebought, but because we're going to go through skin, uh, we're going to go through a skin. I want to say skin care, but it's it's a it's hydrating. It's a hydrating cream, okay, that I use because I don't use a lot of skin care. Y'all know that I, I don't. I don't. I don't. But I want to go through that. My favorite one and some face stuff, and then we're going to go through some uh, cleansing face stuff, and then we're going to go through some uh, shampoo, makeup, perfume, and then we're going to end it with um, my uh, a couple of my favorite, well, we're going to go just for the one, the one favorite summer uh, card wallet that I'm loving, okay? And probably a couple other things, but okay, let's get started with this because I don't, let's not tarry, okay? Number one, let, let me say my favorite jewelry right now, and has been for a little while, is paparazzi, paparazzi jewelry, because there's just nobody that makes paparazzi, makes jewelry like paparazzi. I'm wearing paparazzi, I'm sorry, that made me burp. <laughs> I'm wearing paparazzi, these earrings, and these were a gift from Jenny Hayes, but they are paparazzi. I'm wearing, um, this is not, this is AliExpress, but these necklaces are all together right here. They are paparazzi, and this was gifted to me from Suzanne, who, uh, Suzanne Light, who sells paparazzi, and um, I absolutely love this necklace. It has orange in it, it, ha it has pearls, it ha look, it has a little heart right there. Is that not the cutest? So, um, yes, and that's all one necklace. Isn't that not cute? Anyway, paparazzi jewelry is just, it's just my favorite, okay? It's its probably going to be my all-time favorite period because they just have some really cute classic pieces. Um, this is from Timu, and there's a couple things from Timu that I'm loving, and, and as long as I'm showing you the necklaces, let me show you my favorite necklaces, okay? Because I do have favorites, and you guys know that I do. Number one favorite is this little purse. Do you see this little clear? It's just a little clear handbag purse. Let's see if I can turn it where y'all can see. There we go. There we go. This is one of my favorite necklaces. I wear it all the time. Most of the time. Well, I say all the time. Most of the time. And even around the house, if I don't have anything on, I will have this little purse necklace. Because you guys know, I'm crazy about necklaces. Love them, love them, love them. And that little purse necklace has just... I got it from Timu, and it has just been my favorite. As a matter of fact, I bought it in uh, gold as well. I sure did. Gold. I bought it in gold. And then my next favorite necklace of all <laughs> um, is this little necklace. And some of these I have added, okay? Okay, first, let me just show you the main necklace. The main necklace is a little, let me turn it, I don't know if you guys can be able to see this or not. It has all my grandkids' names on it, right? Can you see that? There's Riley, there's Hunter, there's Kaylin, and there's Ryan. It has all their names, and I I requested that I wanted them at the bottom, not just in the middle, because I was afraid they'd get them, like, you know, one here and then one down here. So I just asked that they put them all down at the bottom. Anyway, that's my little bar. It has all my grandkids' names on it. And then added to this for a little charm is my little guitar necklace um this little guitar looks just like my guitar my black guitar and then i also added because yes i bought another one is this little necklace this little purse do you see this Let's see if i can put it up there there you go so this is one of my favorite necklaces that i do wear a lot whoops i almost dropped it there you go you see that isn't that cute just love it just love it just love it Anyway, so there is my favorite um, jewelry. I mean, I have a lot of jewelry. I wear a lot of jewelry. There's just, there's a couple of pieces that I just love. I just, I just absolutely love. And that one necklace is one of them, mainly because it has, there's another one that I love that I wear a lot. And I got it from 
Timu, and I'll go ahead and show it to you because it is one of my favorites. Um, I know y'all's probably going to say, the guitar with your name on it, you just bought it. But I just bought it, so it hasn't really become a favorite yet. And if I can find the necklace, I don't, I wanted to share it with you if I had it up here, so I thought. I don't guess I do. I guess it's over there somewhere. Anyway, it was my grandma necklace. You know the necklace that says grandma? Just has, a little, it, that's all it says is grandma. Okay, that too is one of my very favorite um, jewelry pieces. And I'm sorry I can't show it to you because I don't, I guess I got it hanging up. Usually, a lot of times I keep it up here on my jewelry box. My favorite ones, I usually try to keep on my jewelry box because that way I can just, you know, when I'm reaching for them, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, there's that. So, that's my favorite jewelry. Okay, let me breathe a minute. My gosh, I'm just like, and I'm uneven. I know this. I know I'm totally uneven. So, here's what I'm wearing. I'm just wearing black shorts and an orange shirt. A big orange shirt at that. Okay, it's a loosey-goosey, but that's what I like. Oh, and I was just wearing this, but I did add this because, you know, for the video. Okay, now then. Oh, my nose itching. Okay, let's go with, uh, let's go with how I cleanse my face, okay? These, another one of my favorites are these. These are microfiber rags, okay? I get mine from the Dollar Tree, okay? They're $1.25 for, I want to say, four of them. And they come in different colors. They're blue. I have this one. This one's a brownish looking. I also have a green. I have all different colors. Peach, orangish looking. Anyway, I love these. I don't use anything on my face but these microfiber rags. Can you tell? Some of them are stained already. But I use them all the time. These are clean, by the way. I don't use anything on my face. No makeup remover. All I use is this little microfiber towel. This microfiber towel will lift it all out of your face. Okay, trust me, it will. Now, like I said, mine, look at my hair. My goodness. I want it to stand up, but my gosh, I didn't want it to. Ugh, let's just turn that down. Ugh, let's not look at that. <laughs> anyway, all I do is I put this underneath uh, the, hot, the hot water. Okay, and I get it soaked. In microfiber, you kind of got to squish it, you know, make sure it gets really, really wet. And then I'll take it and I'll put it on my face like this. And just kind of, especially in here, um, after I take my lashes off, of course, especially in here, I will take it and just soak it for just a few minutes. And then I'll soak my rag again. And then I'll begin to wipe. And it takes all my makeup off, even the hardest the Ioni is not hard to take off. I'm talking about the lash glue eyeliner. The Kiss is a little difficult, but this takes it off. This takes it off, and it just works for me, okay? No, I don't have trouble with um, pimples or anything, but in my opinion, of course, and this is just for me, the more junk... Oh, that's also paparazzi. Isn't that cute? I love their rings. Um... I'll leave their link, uh, Suzanne's link down below. Um, the more stuff I put on my face, the more my face soaks it in, okay? And then at nighttime, it comes out oily, just just pure oil. And it's like, ugh, ugh. I don't like it because I don't normally have an oily face. I don't have a dry face. I don't have an oily face. It's just, it's just right. It doesn't get too oily. It doesn't get too dry. You know what I'm saying? It, it's just right. So... And I don't want to ruin that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I quit using all the other crap that I did use. I went to using it and the, and I noticed the more I used it, the more my face was starting to act stupid and get real oily, especially like right in here. So I just quit using it and went back to my microfiber only towels, rags. And this is what I use. And again, I get these at the Dollar Tree microfiber. See that? And when you wash them, it said wash. Did I just say wash? When you wash them, it says do not uh, do not wash with, uh, where's it at? Machine wash cold, gentle cycle with light colors. Do not bleach or tumble dry. So I don't bleach them. I do, I do tumble them dry. I do. But of course, if you let them sit in there long enough, they dry themselves because they're so thin. But um, no bleach, no bleach. But these are awesome, and I use these all the time. Every night, every night. I have a whole stack of them. And every time I go to the Dollar Tree, I buy another bunch of them. So 
I can always have them. Okay. Okay. That's taking my makeup off. Now then, let's move into the skin care, which I told you I don't do skin care, and I really don't. There's only one thing that I use, and this is Believe Hydrating Gel Cream infused with squalane, squalane and rose hip. It's by Believe. It's made by Believe. It says skin, and I hope y'all can see that. I love this stuff, and it smells so good. After I clean my face, Oh, smells good. I go to the refrigerator. Yes, I said the refrigerator. I keep this in the refrigerator, okay? Oh, so nice. Because after I take everything off, I go to the refrigerator and I start applying this on my face. And let me tell you something. This stuff feels so good going on cold. It's like, oh, it's just refreshing. It's just, you know, it, it's, it just, my, my face just like, oh, yes, yes. So anyway, I apply it cold. And it is just Believe Hydrating Gel Cream. It's refreshing gel that offers lightweight hydration. And I put this on. Now, when I get up in the mornings, I also put this on. I go wash my face real good, but I don't put as much on. I just put a little bit. Did I just spit? I'm sorry. <laughs> I just put a little bit of this on, okay? Just a little. And, um... It just, again, when I get up, you know, your eyes are, or my eyes, they're usually puffy when I wake up. They're just, you know. So I take this and I dabble it under my eyes real good. And I put a little bit on my face. I don't do it. In the nighttime, I put more on. Okay. I make sure my face is covered and feels very cool. But in the morning, I, I dabble it on under my eyes and some in here. And especially my neck. I always put it on my neck. And I push up on my neck and push up on my face every night and every morning, okay? And like I said, it's ice cold. It's not ice cold right now because I had a, I brought it back in here, but it's going back in the refrigerator. Trust me. And then, in the morning time, after I put this on, I don't ever do a morning routine with you guys because I look like crap, okay? In the morning time, I don't... Number one, I'm not in the mood for talking. I'm not a morning person, okay? Now, Daniel, he... he He'll get up singing, whistling, and it's like, shut up, okay? Just shut up. <laughs> Go outside and sing, because I ain't ready yet. But in the morning, I don't, that's why I don't vlog, you know, me or nothing else. But this, I keep in the refrigerator. I got this from the Dollar Tree. It's, it's, this is still cold. Oh, it feels so good. I keep this in the refrigerator right next to this. I keep it up in the little cheese dish. You know, the little thing that opens, puts your cheese in. I keep these in the cheese dish. And after I apply this in the mornings, I will take this and I will sit down, drink my coffee, and I will do this. I will push up on my face. And I will, the first thing I do while it's ice cold, I'll take it and I'll roll it right here. Just kind of roll it. And then roll it like this. Oh, it, feels so, it feels good now because this is still cold. And then just roll it. Oh my gosh, it feels good, guys. It feels so good. Anyway, and then I'll roll my neck. I'll roll it up, 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 up. And I'll just keep doing this. Rolling it all over my face until it gets warm. Once it gets warm, I'm done. I like it when, you know, when it's cold. And it, it so helps with my puffy eyes in the morning. And again, I drink my coffee while I'm doing this in the mornings. So I just simply do this. And I was thinking about getting a big one because, you know, they make those big ones now. But I don't know. This little one just does the trick simply because it reaches, you know, I can reach underneath my eyes in everywhere and let me wipe that off a little bit more because I got I got makeup on it but anyway this is a nice thing to have and again I got this one at the Dollar Tree and I bought I got it several years ago maybe and yes I use it I love it I love it and I keep it again I keep it refrigerated okay now let's go and I'm going to move over because I'm going to put it up here Let's go to, as long as we're on the face and cleansing and all that, let's go to the hair, okay? Not that I want y'all to see my hair, but let's move on to the hair, shall we? Okay, this, and I know what you're going to say. What in the tarnation is that? You see this? Does it smell? It smells like a, I don't know, rice, I guess. I don't know. Okay, what this is, and I haul this. I got my hair all over it, so you can tell I use it. I got my hair all over it. This I love. Okay, I got this. I'm going to show it right here. Put it right here. 
This I got off of Timu. And you remember I hauled it. Do y'all remember that? It was in a little, it's just all wrapped up in a package. And that's what it is. Um, my hair off of it. Good cow. Where's my... Anyway, this is awesome sauce. Let me tell you what I do. Well, and the reason why I have it in this, this is one of those little, uh, <laughs> what I put on my little heat, hot things, hot plates, you know, for my wax, smelly wax, but I put it on this so it don't, you know, anyway, because I take it out of the shower. After I take a shower, I take it, put it in this and just set it up on the shelf in the bathroom. Um, but this, what you do is you wet it. Here's what I've been doing, but I just got through reading the directions and I didn't do it right. Um, I've been rubbing it in my hands lathering up and then rubbing in my hair it said to take this and rub it on your root just take it and rub it around on your root basically the same thing though i do it like this and then i put it down and then i i lather it and i get up underneath there in the root and it says rub it clean it from root to the tip and i'm telling you what i, I my hair is so shiny lately and um i don't know how to explain it it just I like it. it. It it seems to be doing my hair good. And again, I got a Timu, but you know what? I don't care. I don't care. It's just a little, like I said, it's just a little, uh, it looks like a little soap thing. And I've been using it once a week. I will use the purple shampoo. You know that I told you I used when my hair was falling out. The Biotin. It's the Biotin Collagen Shampoo. And I call, people call it the purple shampoo because it comes in a purple bottle. But I use that in the rinse once a week. Okay, just to make sure, you know, I keep that going. But the rest of the time, I'm using this, and I am loving this. This is one of my favorites, and I haven't, I have re, um, I've rebought this, and I haven't rebought one of these. I probably need to back up, but this I will be rebuying. I will be repurchasing. This is great stuff. I'm telling you, I love it. Okay, let's move along, moving along, foot loose and fancy free. Okay, let's stay with the head and the face part so far. Let's just move on down to the eyes. One of my favorites, I used to talk about the Kiss, um, the Kiss Eyelash Eyeliner Glue. Okay, y'all know, I have it. Matter of fact, let me just show it to you. It's not my favorite anymore, but this is it, the Kiss. Okay. Then I found this at Dollar Tree. And I thought, you know what I'm going to use? And if it works, I'm going to go back. And I have a bunch of backups. I probably have five backups in my drawer. And when I go to Dollar Tree, I'll pick another one up. Because I don't want to be without. Okay? But this is the Ioni. I was calling it Tony. I don't know why I thought that was a T. Ioni. And it is, again, uh, Everlasting Lash. Two-in-one Everlasting Lash Glue Liner in black. Again, there's that, and here's what it looks like. And again, I put it, you know, along your lash, uh, right above your lashes, on your lash line, and um, I'm letting it kind of set just a second while I'm getting my lashes off of my thingy majiggy, and then I just put them on. And sometimes I'll put mascara on my lashes first or whatever, but it you don't have to. You can just do it this way. Okay, this is just. This is a game changer. I talk about this all the time. When I apply my lashes, I talk about this. I'm always talking about this, and I realize that. But it is a game changer, y'all. It is a game changer. And again, it's the Ioni Eyeliner Glue Pen, okay? And you can't beat that because let me look down. I mean, you're putting on eyeliner. That's basically what you're doing. But at the same time, the eyeliner is glue. And your lashes are just going to, and it's so much easier because, you know, glue, smears, and blah, blah, blah. This, once you start in the corner and it sticks, then you're just going around. It's, and then pushing, it's game changer. And it is one of my f summer favorites. It's going to be my winter favorites. It's going to be my favorites for all time. But that is, yeah, that's awesome. That is, if you wear, if you wear false lashes, that is the most awesome stuff ever, ever. Okay, then let's move along, move along. Okay, another favorite of mine, and you guys that watch me all the time, you know this is a favorite of mine because I have worn nothing else but it, okay? Since the summer hit, since the since the heat just, the heat's ridiculous, okay? So, Perlice Ageless Glow Serum BB Cream SPF 
40. This is a favorite of mine. This is a favorite, okay? This, yeah. <laughs> I can't say enough about this. Again, it's SPF 40. And it says natural glowy coverage, moisturizing, brightening, helps improve firmness, and reduces wrinkles. And I put it all over my face. I am wearing it today. I put it all over my face. Um, anyway, that's my favorite. This is my favorite, the Perlice. Y'all know that. I will wear this until fall gets here, okay? And then I will move on to the faux era makeup, and we'll discuss that when that gets here. Setting powder. This is the Me Now Soothing Setting Powder, okay? This is a dupe. <coughs> Excuse me, let me get a drink so my throat's... Oh, this is a dupe for the Ciate, okay? The, the white Ciate setting powder. I was in love with that. I seen this and I thought, you know what, I'm going to try this. And by George, guys, uh, it's all rubbed off the front of it, but here's what it looks like in the back. I can show you. I do have a backup because y'all can see. Y'all see I'm hitting pan, right? <laughs> I do have a backup and I will show you what it looks like. It comes in this. I, I found this on Timu. Yeah, I did. I found it on Timu. And it's the Me Now. This, this is the box it comes in. And... Let me show you what it looks like. It looks just like the other one, except it's not all rubbed off because I use that one all the time. Well, good cow. Am I going to have to tear this just so I can get in it? Okay, here we go. Here's what it looks like, okay? Uh, I want y'all to be able to see that really good. Let me put this down for just a second. Can y'all see that now? That's probably not a good idea, but... Me now. Ugh. Anyway, it's MN, which stands for Me Now, Soothing and Setting Powder. Here's the back of it. And here's what it looks like. It, it does come with a little powder puff. And it comes with a little plastic thing on top. And again, this one is my backup. Because you can see, <laughs> this one's all rubbed off. But... This is some of the best setting powder I've used, not counting Ciate. Ciate was and is my favorite. Ciate is more expensive, but you you know me, right? If I can find something cheaper, then that's where I'm going. So anyway, this setting powder is my all-time favorite. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm wearing it now, and um, it's a favorite. This is a favorite for... The summer, this is going to be a favorite for the winter, but this is one of my summer favorites that I have been wearing, okay? All right, let's move on. Let me put that up. Now let's move on to perfumes, okay? Number one, there's two perfumes that I have been wearing lately, okay? <sighs> okay, one of them, I used to get it at Walmart all the time, and um, all of a sudden, uh, Walmart just quit carrying it. I don't know why I don't. But I had to go somewhere else, and I went to eBay, actually, and I found it on eBay, and I bought it in a bulk of six. I think there were six or seven in the package, and I bought it, and I still have some, and it still smells just as good as it did before. And it, this is called the Vintage Natural, Vintage Naturals Aromatherapy, and it's Calm Body Mist Lavender and Chamomile. I have talked about this before. Many years ago, I talked about it a lot. It was it was the only thing I was wearing. And every time I wear this, a lot of people always ask me what I'm wearing. Because you can, it's, to be like a body mist, it's very loud smelling. Okay? And I love this. I love this. I love this. And it oh, smells so good. It smells clean. It's, like I said, it's lavender and chamomile. And it smells so clean. And... This is one of my favorites. It's from going to town, running around, Daniel and I go out to eat. I'm, I'm usually wearing this right here, usually, most of the time. And I just opened this bottle. I just threw a bottle away. It was an empty. I don't do empties. I don't like watching empties. To me, they're boring. Um, show me your favorites, and then let's be done with it. I think empties are boring, so I don't watch empties. Therefore, I don't save my empties to show you what's empty. I'm going to show you what's full, my favorites, okay? All right, and then the next perfume that I wear, usually I wear it to church, is the uh, Juicy Couture OUI. 
and this smells great. I don't know what the notes are to this. Let's see if it says. It don't say. I don't know what the notes is on this. I'll leave the notes to it in the description box. I'll look it up. Beautiful bottle, OUI. And I was in a, a store one day, and a lady walked by me, and I was like, oh, I've got to ask her what she's wearing. Dare I? Well, yeah, I did. I walked up to her, and I said, ma'am, I don't mean to be nosy, but you smell so good. Can I ask you what you're wearing? And she said, the Juicy Couture OUI. And I was like, well, okay then. Okay, that's so, I went and bought it. I did. I went online. Oh, my, my, my. It smells so good. So, this, it looks like candy, don't it? So, this is, has been my favorite. These two have been my favorite. Um, body mist for the daytime and town and this for church and, you know, special occasions. But it is so good. It's not that expensive either. It's not at all. But I love it. I just love it. Love it, love it. So, there are my two favorite perfumes. Alright, now we're going to move on to some favorites that I use every single day of the week, okay? And I one of, this one I'm fixing to tell you about, I have talked about and talked about and talked about until I'm blue in the face. But I use it a lot, and um, I used it before I bought my new camera, I used it all the time. And I still use this sometimes, it just depends on what I want to bring out. Do I want to bring my camera with me, or do I want to bring my camera phone with me, which that's what I'm using right now. I'm still adjusting that exposure. I know in the first of this video you seen I used my camera. I don't like it using it on the inside as well. Okay it does really good outside and in town not so well and I hate adjusting that exposure all the time. It just gets annoying. You know what I'm saying? So I'm still working with it. It's a very it's a very picky camera okay but it's a nice one. It's a real it's it's really nice, but it's it, it's still taking me some time to adjust it. And again, it's better to be using out, you know, in town and outside than it is in the house. This one does really well in the house. I get good color on it. I get, you know, great exposure and all of that. So that's why I like using it. And sometimes when I'm in town, I'll just poke that one in my purse because I don't want to wiggle for niggle. It just depends on where I'm going. Let's put it that way. And sometimes I take the camera and this one. But when I'm using this one, this is a favorite. It is a Pictar. It's called Pictar. And everything works on it. It has these little where you can like go up or back with it. You know, forward, backwards. Okay. The This side of it, what you do is you take your phone and you slide it in there. Okay? Because it's just take it and put it in there. This, you can hook up to your phone as well. It has a little little thing right there where when you're taking pictures, you know, you can, it makes your cone, your cone, makes your cone, makes your phone into a camera is all it does. Basically, that's, I bought this off of eBay, brand new. You can, I think eBay still has them and I, you can buy them other places, but I got mine cheaper on eBay, <laughs> of course. Um, but, and I've had this thing for several years. I've used it every single day of my life. I use it in the house when I'm in the kitchen or when I'm showing you something. I've got, I've got my phone slid in here and I'm using this. I do not have this hooked up. See, it has little buttons here. All these buttons work on your camera, but to me there's no point to it because my thumb is right here. I'm hanging on to it. My thumb is right here and I can slide my camera. I can hit play. I can do what I want to, take pictures, whatever, you know, because usually my, again, my thumb is here. So there's no point to these because I don't need it that fancy. I just need something to hold it and have a grip on it. And it also right here, I can put it in and I don't, I have my, I've got my new camera on it, but I can take this and, um, let me show you. I can take this and put it on here. Now, I have a flimsy one that it, this won't work with because it wants to tump over. It has to be pretty sturdy, but I can use it like this as well if I wanted to plug it in to the Pictar, which I don't. The purpose to this is me holding it like a camera and using it like a camera. And again, it fits your phone. And that way, you're not holding your phone. And how many times have I dropped my phone doing a video? We're not, guys, we're not going to count. Okay, we're just, we're just not going to count. This helps you hang on, and it does, it will sit up. It will sit up on your, 
it won't on my hand, but it'll sit up, okay? Because it's, it's got a flat part and it's got this long part. So this Pictar is one of my favorites. It's been my little companion forever and it fits right down in your purse, no problem. Matter of fact, I'm putting it in there right now. Um, this is not a favorite yet because again, <laughs> I'm still working on this, okay? I'm still working on it. Let me show you. You turn it on and it has a little gimbal. Here's, here's where your, that's where your lens is and it will follow your face um let me put it let me i'm figuring this out though guys i'm figuring out how to turn it see i'm figuring that out and here we go and now i don't know if, yeah i have it do you see how this will follow me it's the gimbal do you see how it's following my face it'll follow your face wherever you go and i love that about it but again i'm still figuring it out it is a great great there you go. It has a little bitty screen. It's a touch screen. You can touch it. And now, several months from now, I may bring this up and tell you this is my this is in my favorites. Right now, not yet. It's it's not in my favorites yet, but it's getting there. It's getting there, okay? Alright, two more things to go in my favorites, and we're done. This little card. You guys have seen my blue one. You guys have seen the brown one, the monogram one, okay? You guys have seen this one. I bought this one off of uh, Love Bags Boutique on Facebook. She sells, well, she sells, yeah, dupes and all of that good stuff. I love this. This has a pocket here. Has a pocket here. I keep little appointments and extra stuff in there. I usually put my bills in here, which I don't have none right now. <laughs> I keep my credit cards back here. You guys know these are my favorites, and I will always, in my favorites, probably have this in there. And it's also a keychain, as you can tell right here. has You can use it as a keychain, and a lot of people do. That's the Recto Verso. Um, a lot of people say, you know, that's why they bought it is for a keychain, and that's all good and fine. But I don't want my wallet hanging out in my car. I don't. I don't. Okay? I just don't. So I don't use it as a keychain. Now, if I want to hide a key or put a key, I, I'll put it on and put it in there. But I keep my change in there, and that's where I put the little keychain part of it in there. And it's a pretty pink in there. But these are, so far, have been my favorite. This one is my favorite for the summer. I will show you favorites for the winter when winter gets here. Okay, I will show you that. But for now, sorry, I'm all, I'm miscombobulated, okay. I'm miscombobulated. Let's get all. <laughs> okay. But for the summer, this one is my favorite. I love the Recto Verso. I love it. Recto Verso in the rep. I'm sorry, guys. And I was going to say it doesn't have anything on it, but it does up here in the corner. But you don't see that because this comes over it. So, and I really could care less. You know, there's no shame in my game. No, you know, I'm not all that in a bag of potato chips. I'm just me. And yeah. Anyway, and you don't know if I can go for something cheaper, I'm going out. But anyway, beautiful, beautiful, and this is one of my favorites. This is my summer favorite. These really are my summer favorites because the perfume's going to change this winter. I'll probably go back to Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. Yes, because I love it. But anyway, this is my summer favorite. So let's just go back to another summer favorite and handbag. You guys know I had to have a handbag in my summer favorite, okay? I have to have a handbag in my summer favorites. That's just, that's all there is to it, okay? That's all there is to it. That's it. Uh, summer favorites. Um, here we go. Oh, let me just tell you uh, on the face, I skipped one, my summer favorite, and that is the Buxom. You guys know the Buxom Bahama Mama is something that I wear all the time in the summer. I'll be wearing Bahama Mama in the winter, too, but Bahama Mama Buxom is also a favorite of mine, and you guys know this. You guys know Buxom, period, is my favorite. Period. End of story. I love Buxom. Anyway, and that's what I'm wearing. The Buxom lip liner in, uh, no, I'm not wearing Buxom lip liner. I'm wearing uh, my favorite L'Oreal in Matt's Dermine. Because y'all know that's my favorite lip liner. Let's just go lip liner real fast before I go on into this. Favorite lip liners. And you guys are going to know this one, of course. I just showed it to you. But 
you guys could have answered this anyway if I'd have asked you, what's my favorite lip liner? You you guys know I'm going to say L'Oreal Lip Liner in Matte Stermine or Matte's It. I have both. I don't know if I have it here. The other one's probably in my purse. Is it in my purse? Yeah. But this is it. Love this. Have it on. Wear this all the time. All the time I'm wearing the L'Oreal. This is my favorite, sorry, lip liner. My favorite lip gloss will always be Buxom. Okay? Buxom. All right, let's move on. <laughs> okay, now, back to the bags and back to the, again, this is my summer favorite. And um, what summer favorite is my handbag? Since I've gotten it, it has, I have carried nothing but it. And look, look how well that matches. That is going to be a thumbnail as well, okay? But look how well it matches. So let's just pop that right in there. I want to show you this. Is this not the cutest? I got this from one of my subbies. Love raised me, lipstick saved me. Well, yeah, and that's what I keep my lipsticks in because there's no pockets in this bag. But this bag is a summer favorite. I've carried this bag since I got it. I think I switched out of it one time. And I can't remember what it was I even switched out switched out to. It might have been the red one like this. But this pink bag is just, it's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome sauce. That's all I can tell you. It's awesome sauce. I love it. It is shoulder. It's crossbody. It's beautiful. It's, it's that, you guys know how I feel about uh, the pink. Not the bright pink. But the vintage pink. I love vintage pink. I do. I do. I do. In this one, um, I may switch to another one when I'm wearing a different outfit. You know, the green, the yellow, the reds, and all of that. But I will always go back to this one. Because why? Because I love this one. So this is, as well, a favorite of mine. It's shorn. I don't know why that... It sure is. It sure is. Okay, guys, that is going to be, I'm going to wrap it up. That's going to be all of my summer favorites. It probably wasn't a whole bunch, but hey, I don't, when it comes to favorites, I'm one of those that I do so many different things, jewelry and stuff, um, clothes and shoes, and I didn't show you a favorite shoe because I don't know that I have a favorite shoe because depending on the outfit is going to depend on the shoe. Well, that's a lie. I do have a favorite shoe. Let me just show you. That's a lie. And I'm sure you guys are sitting back there saying, Marsha, your sneakers. You wear them all the time. Marsha, your sneakers. So, yeah. I don't know who these are made by. I've had these for so long. They have the what is the Z? Do y'all know? That has the little. Uh, let me show you. On the bottom, it has right here the little Z. I don't know. It's a cheaper shoe. Look, can y'all tell that I have worn the thunder out of these? I have worn them like crazy. The more I wear them, the more I like them. Okay, I have three new pairs of sneakers, white sneakers. I don't like any of them. These, these are it. I don't know. I don't know why, but they are. But I love these. These are a favorite shoe. So I lied. If I if I had to say I had a favorite shoe, it would be this sneaker. And it will always be this sneaker. Until I wear these plum out or they have holes in them, I'm going to wear them. Okay? The other sneakers can just sit to the side and just, just be there. Okay? They can just be a backup until I'm ready to move into them. This is a favorite sneaker. I love these sneakers so very much. Wasn't, very, wasn't expensive at all. They're very um, cushiony, though. I will say that. I love them because they have cushion. They're, they're very cushiony on my feet. And you know with neuropathy, I can't wear just any shoe. These, I can wear these all stinking day, and they never, ever bother my feet. Not going to wood. Just don't ever say never. Never say never, okay? But anyway, this is my favorite shoe. So there's that. Okay, guys, that is it. Um, that is it. That is it for sure. Um, that's all my favorites. 
and I hope you enjoyed my favorites video. And again, I don't do empties. I, I did. I used to, but number one, putting them in something and saving the trash. Daniel, I used to put, I used to put it in a little bucket in the bathroom, in the cabinet. And Daniel's like, why is there trash in here? Why are you saving it? And I'm like, well, for my empties, blah, blah, blah. There's no point in that. I'd rather show it to you full or something I'm using, okay? So, those are all my favorites. Those are all my favorites. Everything I've showed you is something I use every single day, including the perfume. I use every single day. Every single day, okay? Okay, that's it for my summer favorites, and I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me which one you liked or if, if there's one you're interested in. I am going to try to leave the links to this. You find the Believe... This is uh, made by Believe. I don't know if y'all can see it right there. You can you find this at the Dollar General, okay? Or this is where I found it is at the Dollar General. And I looked the other day because I'm kind of getting low, and oh gosh, it smells so good. Um, and they do have it. They do still have it. So Dollar General. So I don't know if I can leave a link. If I can, I will. If I can't, go to your Dollar General, and all it says is hydrating gel cream. Here, take a. There we go. Take a still shot of it. And that way you'll have it. Okay. Um, everything else I'll try to leave links to. I don't know if I can still find this. I don't know if I want to leave the link to this. Because if you guys start buying it, then I won't find it ever again. <laughs> That's not nice. Okay. I'm going to try to leave the links to all of it. Okay. That's that. Okay. That's that. Oh, I can't leave the links to the microfiber because... They're at the Dollar Tree. So Dollar Tree. Microfiber, Dollar Tree. There you have that. All right. Remember, keep God in it, and you'll always win it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. I just want to add this to the end. Um, so that way, if nobody's interested, that's okay. But most of my subbies, I wanted to put this at the end. Uh, some of my subbies um, have asked if I want to do, if I have ever done a Q, Q and A, and of course you guys know I have, but, um, if you guys are interested in a Q and A, and again, don't ask real personal questions because I'm not going to answer real personal questions, but if you want me to do a Q and A, then down below, just ask me a question, and I, I always check my comments on, on all my channel, all my videos, but on this particular video, just down below, ask me a question. Comment on this video, but then after that, comment a question that you have for me, and I will transfer all of those over and put them on a list, and um, I will do a Q&A if I get enough of them. If I don't get very many, then I probably won't do a Q&A. So, again, if you have any questions for me, put them down below, and we... We'll do a Q&A if that's what you want, okay? And um, another subby, uh, several subbies, several of you have asked me to please, please, please do another song. So, yes, I will be working on another song for you guys, okay? Anything for y'all. All right. Later.